Greetings, dear friends. Welcome to the Creative Lab, the Souls Awakening the Souls of Our Nations, focalized by the joint effort, the 2025 initiative, Hekal Group from Jerusalem and Klaus Schalik Group from Germany. Today is our first meeting in the third year of our ongoing focused group effort. And I welcome Uta to take us into the new journey. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alexander. And hello, welcome back, everyone. After our summer break, into this new round in our nation's lab, third year. It's very good to link back together. And I'm sure for all of us, a lot has happened over this summer in this revolutionary time on our planet. And it brings into greater focus also the importance of the work with the consciousness of our nations. Yeah, in this new round, we plan to expand from our focus until now of being best citizens, becoming best citizens for our nation into becoming together a council of best citizens for the family of nations. So as a gesture towards this new widened focus, we thought it would be a good idea to have the names of our nations after our personal name. Um, and some of you have uh, succeeded to do that. And most of us haven't. Um, so, and we can edit it now as we are together now. It's, I think it's a very nice gesture. And uh, Alexander, please, can you explain how to do that? Yes, um, some of you saw it in the invitation and the announcement, uh, this request to put the name of your nation to your name. And it, we understand it, could it be a bit confusing? Um, so we will try to simplify and straightforward this process going forward. And uh, starting next meeting, we will have registration for the series of uh, uh, coming 10 meetings as it was in the previous years. Um, and uh, there will be uh, hopefully a more straightforward mechanism uh, to put the countries. Unfortunately, there is no uh, way around in the go to webinar during the registration. Uh, even you including your country in the registration, it doesn't show with your name. But uh, as Uta said, we can uh, edit our names right now. Uh, and it's very simple for those of you who joined via your uh, um, desktops with your, our, your computers, your laptops. Unfortunately, this is not going to be working if you join in via your phone. So, um, for those of you who joined uh, on your computer, uh, just find your name on the attendee list and uh, right click with the mouse on your name. And I will do the same as I'm uh, speaking. And if when you right click on your name, you will see one of, uh, there will be a drop down menu uh, that will pop up and you will see there, edit your name and email. So click on that and you will have a new window opening and there you can change your name you can 
add to your name. We suggest uh, after your first and last name, uh, add your country. And so I'm doing it now for myself and pressing OK. And now um, I have country next to my name. So I suggest uh, to, to all of you who are on your computers do the same now, and that will help us see our geography. So I see some people changing their names. If you have any questions, just write in the uh, in the questions, and I will try to answer. Thank you. Over to you, Uta. Okay. So let us begin our work together with an alignment, and Grete will lead us in this alignment. <clears throat> will draw the attention inwards to a place of perfect stillness. Breathing deeply. Grounding in the solidity of the body, in the earth, in the embrace of the mother of the world. Resting in the peace of the heart. Focusing now in the center of the head. Standing as the incarnated soul, poised and radiant. Let us now come together again in the energetic field of our nation's lab. extending a greeting of love and joy to each other. Connecting our thinking. Letting our telepathic field establish itself. Standing together as soul under our common purpose of work with the consciousness of our nations. Taking our place now on a pinnacle at the midway point between the outer expression of our nation and its soul. Mm -hmm. 
sensing our nation for a moment as a living entity and extending in our love to it. Becoming aware of the other pinnacles, the other national units of best citizens. See the connecting lines between our national groups from pinnacle to pinnacle. Visualize new small units sprouting. Sensing our nation's lab as a living web, a, a vibrating unit of service in the wider web of world service. Tuning our consciousness to the Asramic co-workers who guide and support this nation's project. Leaving this horizontal and vertical alignment in place, we return to our personal grounding, ready to enter our work. Thank you, Greta. So, our theme is a council of best citizens. And our guiding question will be, what would that look like? What would a functioning Ajna center of our planet do or express? How, how, will, how it will express? Can we imagine a UN, United Nations, on a higher turn of the spiral? A council of elders who will hold space and give direction to the nations. As a Jolie would call it, a group of best citizens of the world. So this session we would like to use to try out what this could feel like and what it may require as part of the personnel of such a council. Of course, first of all, it requires a shift of identification. 
So far we have practiced to stretch ourselves into being, fulfilling this function of best citizen of our own nation. So now stretching further, assuming the wider function of world citizenship, it will probably require an adjustment, perhaps a process of disidentification from our nation, our own nation. So let's just take a moment to imagine this, to try to sense what it would, what it will take. Let's get in touch with our nation as an entity, feeling our relationship to this nation. And now loosening this a bit, moving a little bit further away. We remain loving and caring, but try out to be a bit more disinterested. Feeling inwards that we are moving into a greater degree of freedom. And imagining that we keep this inner freedom, no matter what will happen in our nation. Can we sense a tension between our own freedom and our love and care for our nation? When we move into this greater degree of freedom, then we can leave the outer events also free to form. And leave the people also free, allowing for the free will of the people to steer the national destiny. It's like developing a longer breath, like a parent maybe watching their child, watching and trusting, knowing that whatever eventuates will work itself out. So let's take another moment to stand in this inner loving freedom, a state of isolated unity, as TK is calling it. Can we imagine a future United Nations where the delegates will hold this kind of state of consciousness? Focusing less on being the negotiators of the interests of their nation and becoming more like knowers of their nation who come to bring something, who come to sound the note of their nation in order to give, to enrich and uh, to play its role in the family of nations. And of course, also to help solve any issues with their nation. That's a big step into a greater maturity and it requires some skills. We can here take an example from the masters of wisdom. How do they hold their counsel looking at the world? What could be their skill set if we want to use this kind of term? And um, we have put together a little table of a simple psychosynthesis structure, give a, a simple picture of this. Alexander, could you bring, put this slide on? Yeah. 
Yeah. So we have your skills, uh, three sets of skills, skill of the heart, of the mind, and of the soul, or soul connection. There's the second line, perfect poise, completed point of view, and divine understanding is, uh, is this trilogy that we have from DK um, that we have explored in previous lab sessions. The heart taking on this stance of perfect poise, the mind finding, fine-tuning itself um, to learn how to have a 360 degrees vision. And uh, in terms of our soul connection, for us to open up to divine understanding, to the understanding, the perspective of the soul. And when we concretize this into capacities or skills that uh, we develop, so for the heart, we come into this quality of harmlessness, which is the, the kingly way, we could say, into building right relations. And for the mind, it is discernment, as a capacity to grasp the distinctions the, and the fuller picture, to have a transparent view. And synthetic vision is, in other words, soul vision. Yeah. Synthetic vision is something that helps us, helps the soul actually to exert its influence. Through our effort, the incarnated soul makes this effort towards the synthetic vision, and then the soul can stream through this. Yeah. And uh, bringing it even more into con concreteness, applying it to our lab experiment. On the heart level, it means to, to hone the quality of our togetherness so that we build together the best environment possible for clarity and soul expression. And we do this both through honing our telepathic field in the meditation and through continuing to fine tune our interaction during the sharing. So these will be the three um, Yeah, um, the three aspects that we will be working on, on the heart, it's what I just said, on the mental level, we have um, for next time, for next uh, uh, months, to look into uh, what we call here snapshot 2.0, to develop it a bit further, um, and to use the model that DK gives us in analyzing his disciples as it is uh, written in the Dina books and how he analyzes the nations in the Destiny of Nations book. So next month we will get into this. Another word for just uh, a little bit uh, saying something about soul blessing. How can we enhance our capacity to bring through a measure of soul vision? Uh, 
how can we, after we analyze our nation, how can we bring all these distinct parts together again into one synthetic picture, into a synthetic grasp of the need of the moment? When we formulate this grasp into a sentence, like a mantra, a keynote, so this we hold this intention then and this becomes then this vehicle through which the soul energy can flow into the personality life of our nation it's actually holding the next step for our nation in our view and by that in the view for the nation and putting our strength behind it so this is actually a move from observation to giving direction. It's the beginning of a magical act on behalf of our nation. And we will get to it in probably in two months. So for today, let's focus on the heart aspect, holding space as a group in such a way that right relationship with each other and with our nations will be the consequence. So it's actually to be a big, loving, wise group heart. And um, we would like to contemplate here uh, on the three rules of harmlessness as actually a comprehensive recipe that uh, DK has given us. It's a detailed and practical instruction on how to relate with each other, staying clean and respectful, and how to do that on the three different levels, the same three different levels, heart, mind, and soul. So let us read this slowly together. And we make a pause between the rules for reflection and for embodiment. Because we would like this to be the tone that uh, in a, for our meditation today. And the meditation will be about trying out being part of a council of world citizens. So the rule one, enter thy brother's heart and see his woe, then speak. Let the words spoken convey to him the potent force he needs to lose his chains. Yet lose them not thyself. Thine is the work to speak with understanding. The force received by him will aid him in his work. Rule two, enter thy brother's mind and read his thoughts, but only when thy thoughts are pure. Then think, let the thoughts thus created enter thy brother's mind and blend with his. Yet keep detached thyself. For none have the right to sway a brother's mind. The only right there is will make him say, he loves, he stands by, he knows, 
He thinks with me, and I am strong to do the right. Learn thus to speak. Learn thus to think. And rule three, blend with thy brother's soul and know him as he is. Only upon the plane of soul can this be done. Elsewhere, the blending feeds the fuel of his lower life. Then focus on the plan. Thus will he see the part that he and you and all men play. Thus will he enter into life and know the work accomplished. Let's take a moment to embody this quality, these skills. Breathing, stepping into this state of consciousness. Standing in perfect poise. Heart at rest, mind focused, standing as a conscious soul in incarnation. Now let us assume the position of the conscious self of our nation, standing midway between its personality and its soul. Taking a moment to perceive our nation as an entity with its flaws and its strengths with its own note. Feeling the love for our nation and also our freedom from it. holding our own integrity, our own sense of self, while also holding the note of our nation. Let's see how we can balance the two. Mm -hmm. Holding this balance, we are ready for joining the Council of World Citizens. Let us imagine entering a beautiful building set in nature. Coming into a quiet and clear and spacious room. In this room, 
are seated various people, perhaps in a circle or a half circle. People coming from different backgrounds, from different parts of the world. We find our seat and we look around, taking in the atmosphere. And more people are filing in. We can sense the rich background that each one brings into the space, the unique angle of each nationality. And at the same time, the sense of belonging of these people seems to lie beyond, beyond their racial, cultural and religious backgrounds and above political opinions. It's easy to feel that they love their nation and also are capable to address fearlessly and honestly its shortcomings. Sense the purity of motive that radiates from them. With all the outward variety, there is yet mm -hmm. the same vision shining through their eyes. Their faces radiate a degree of benevolence, integrity, freedom. Let's just take a moment, severing this atmosphere, sitting in the presence of this council. This breadth of vision and consecration of heart. We can feel that this is a safe space for the affairs of the family of nations. They are in good hands. A relaxed and yet focused silence settles in the room as this group of wise representatives close their eyes for reflection and invocation. And we hold together with them space for our family of nations.
And we close this council session by streaming forth a blessing into our world. Very gently, we return to our own personal space now, breathing and grounding. Okay. So, let us share some impressions from this experience. Hi, this is Efrat from Jerusalem. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Greta and Duta, for the beautiful meditations. I will share only two experiences uh, that I had shortly. Um, when we just uh, connected, all of us, in the beginning of the meditation, I had a very good uh, feeling, like uh, really like a family, like a uh, gathering of, of people uh, knowing each other in, in very high level and like uh, welcome uh, all of us. It was uh, really deep in the heart, really it was a good feeling. And during the, the meditation, uh, the, the movement between my own uh, nation into the Council of the Best Citizen or, or the, the UN, uh, I could feel much, uh, much quiet uh, and, and, and serene up there this beautiful uh, house in the building in the nature i had in my my imagination a building i know from italy quarter of the heart um in the most uh, strong impression was that it is possible much more easier that that i think that we think and then we we got a lot of help in, in this work. Thank you. From Jerusalem, it's uh, Helen speaking. I would like to add to what Ifrat said. Um, I feel like we are in a very solemn um occasion here um a group of um elders wise people um 
it remains on the level of the citizens what I and we can sense of what is happening on the other side of the veil. Um, uh, I feel such a solemnity that uh, words don't come, but uh, a very strong sensation of uh, boy, a new step. Thank you all. Yes, it's great from Denmark. Thank you, Uta, for this very special meditation. It felt so good to be together with the family, sitting in a circle. I had the vision that we were sitting in a very big um, pyramid. And uh, I too had this solemnity feeling. It is really good that we can and all the, uh, the, raise the level of being together. And I too had the feeling we are really supported from our elders. So I'm looking forward to being with you again. Good to be here. Thank you. Greetings, this is John joining from the United States. Um, I would just like to comment on the quality of the energy in this meeting compared to others. Um, I felt that it was much stronger, um, a greater degree of um, purity and refinement and rarefied um, energy. It was almost, if I were to use an analogy, um, as if we'd climb to a significantly higher mountaintop. And, not that it was um, not that it wasn't those qualities in past meetings. It's just one could never tell until you've broken through um, perhaps another plateau or to an, to new heights in order to compare that to um, different things. So it there definitely seemed to be a different um, quality to the energy in in, in that manner. Um, and thank you for this meditation. Um, it's it's exceptional as always. Thank you. Thank you, John. I agree with impression that John just shared. It's almost like now we're talking. Mm -hmm. um, and indeed, um, I think the task of creating in a way, a prototype of the World Citizens Council or the new type of UN, UN of people, not the UN of governments. It's been on the hierarchy's agenda for us for a long time. So we're slowly moving into discovering what that that really means mm -hmm. much gratitude yeah this sense of family family of nations just this this term even is uh, bringing in a new quality This is Deborah from the United States. 
Thank you so much uh, for this meditation. I experienced such such a presence and unity, love and presence and awareness that precisely landed and rooted in the midway point and yet stepped out a little further into into manifestation to where there was no gap between this awareness we share and sat in and communed with one another in, but there was no division between that center, living center of awareness and our outer appearance and world. In other words, I sensed that this sphere of presence and awareness was the new normal, if you will, in that is not just overshadowing world affairs, but is incarnating into world affairs without veils and separation. I felt the achievability of this presence in this time and place in our world. Mm -hmm. what? It's becoming so substantial, our experience in the meditation, that it it seems to merge with our everyday consciousness. I have a very similar sense to what you just described, Eva. Yeah. We just need to keep our alignment and then it will just happen. It will roll through us into a manifestation. Daisha here in Canada. And I agree with you, Uta. That was so beautifully done to provide us with the framework in the beginning and then to allow the whole group to move into that energetic template. Um, I, I echo uh, our sisters in Jerusalem that the keynote for me was, I would call it dignity, but it is solemnity, a sense of peaceful honoring of one another as the representatives from all the nations entered and looked respectfully to one another. And by doing this, we are acting as if we're helping to create this model of the future. Mm -hmm. yeah. For our world, which is so exciting. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Mm. Thank you, Desha. Yes, like Alexander said, uh, we are uh, creating a little prototype of the UN of the future, the UN of people. Mm. To move into this template, you said. 
Yeah, quite something. We create a template, a thought form, and then we embody it. That, that's right, and the embodying of it brings it to life, adds the energy needed for it to manifest. Yeah, so yeah. beautiful. Yes. <laughs> It was um, pureness all around uh, the group, but it was also the not only the presence of uh, the group, but also the energy, a, a very high energy that um, was involving all of us. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Anna Maria. Maybe we can all say our our uh, the name of our nation when we talk. This is Andrea from the United States, and with so much gratitude to that extremely beautiful and powerful meditation, I was impressed with the eyes of our heart and the distributing nature of those eyes and the receptive nature of those eyes of our hearts. And so just this loving flow between all nations, borderless, boundaryless. It was just a presence of the integral similarities that we all are. Thank you, Andrea. This is Catherine Hiller from the USA. I am very grateful to have this opportunity to, to meditate and be with all of you. Uh, the, I especially appreciate the, the wisdom and in care given in creating this, the container, the energetic container of intentionality and thought forms. The material from DK about, you know, the positioning, the what to offer and yet the boundaries uh, is particularly impeccable and uh, very useful actually for being on optimum in my everyday life as well as in this this work uh, as, and, and and I'm honored to be part of embodying this into into matter and manifestation Thank you Catherine This is Martha from the United States and Canada. Uh, in agreement with the tone that everybody described, which may be the result of our coming together more than once, that we sense the energetic field of trust expanding. I had some, um, my visualization was actually being uh, within the United Nations and I was adding zeros to our numbers that <clears throat> um, 
we had posted outside the door, um, bring your heart presence. And so we were looking outside the room, first of all, and, and looking at the rules about poise and harmlessness. And I had this vision that maybe we can relate to in our different cultures of um, the Wild West, where at the bar you had to leave your guns outside the door. And it, it, the group of us recognized that our thoughts can be um, tools for separativeness. And so we recognized that we had to leave behind our ideologies and we had to acknowledge that we did not have complete command over our assumptions, our unconscious assumptions, but we could agree that we would examine them every time we heard someone who might have triggered us and that we would hold silence, hold the space which was, I believe, another rule. So that we had taken um, within ourselves and among ourselves a contemplative approach as we entered this room. And when we entered the room, the walls expanded. So there was room for not only 36 people, but 360. And then the walls continued to expand and there was room for 3,600. Then there was room for 36,000 and the walls became uh, trees, forests, and water. And we were gifted with this ability to outpicture what does this energy look like? when we choose to let go of our national interests and think about the collective good, the greater good, not necessarily the common good, but the greater collective good. And we felt very empowered, very, very empowered as the meditation encouraged us to recognize to be so brave that we can be compassionate and so strong that we can be courageous. And it occurred to me, as one of the earlier speakers mentioned, we may not be terribly far away from the skill in action to make it happen. So thank you for giving us hope, the hope of glory that this particular cycle calls forth from us. Thank you. Thanks, Martha. Yeah, the hope of glory. Um, seems we are now moving into our glory <laughs> and uh, as we do so we recognize that we are not alone in this and yes that it is uh, maybe so much easier than than what we thought or at least uh, what was possible until now a huge shift is really happening it enables something that we have not been imagining and it's it's from being together from this happening to each one of us and then when we are coming together with this intention of a refined space then we can recognize it then it's suddenly there
Thank you. Hello, this is uh, Josette from uh, France. The main impression that uh, remains in me from the meditation is a deep power of healing. Opposite that, uh, what I feel from my nation. In my nation, I feel a disorder, lack of sense, lack of direction. People are lost. And uh, in the beautiful picture of the palace, in the room with the uh, wisdom and citizen of the world, I felt uh, peace. Uh, people uh, poised and uh, steady with a uh, deep peace. So, so I felt uh, this deep power of healing. Thank you. Thank you, Josette. Hmm. Building a template together, actually, really, of a high frequency. And when we are in there, when we meet in there, it is healing, it is strengthening, it is ordering. And then we can radiate this higher order into our nation, Yeah. Seeing it, like, I don't know, I don't want to say superimposing, but um, making available a higher order for our nation to orient itself with. Um, Jill UK here. Uh, I feel that our nation is now in a great position to have um, some more soul consciousness flow into it with the monarch, monarch's death. Um, she set an example of soul consciousness by service for her entire life. She pledged it and kept her word. And I think uh, many, many people have been struck by the example. And I think now there might be more soul consciousness in our nation. And I think the idea of having a council of best citizens is very good. And I especially have always liked the idea of sitting in circles. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, this example of service is really seems to flood into the consciousness of the family of nations. During the meditation I had, I visualized us in a special place in, in the north of Israel, the Galilee, Kfar Nahum, Kapernaum, where there is a church for the community of believers, I think it's called, I don't remember, um, that we visited about three years ago with our Hechal group and also Alexander and Katya were with us. 
And it is an upper room, could you say? It stands on 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 pillars, and it is a round one. It almost looks like a spaceship. And inside there are these circles, concentric circles of of benches, stone benches. And we came in. There was silence. There were not many people there. Each one just sitting where wherever they they sat in this very big circle, maybe for, I don't know, 200 people or so. And just sitting silently in this atmosphere of the Christ. So today's meditation felt similar to this, yeah, in, in quality. Thank you, Alexander. This is Barbara, United States. Um, and thank you everyone for what has been shared. Uh, I wanted to add that as the meditation began, what came clearly to me was in this identification, a, a reorientation as citizens of the world, of the planet. And with that reorientation, it seemed anyone who looked from that view would find it a simple task to turn and see themselves as citizens of the world. And that each of us in that embrace that has been spoken of so beautifully today, as a family, are embodying that complete citizenship, that wholeness of citizenship or cells on this planet. And What seemed important was that we are planting, not just planting the seed, but we are participating in holding a very powerful point of focus, that point of tension for the germinating of the seed, of the recognition of the citizens of each nation, that this is one humanity, that we are one humanity. That recognition is going to create such a momentum, I felt such a momentum of change. And by each of us holding that note, being that sound, sounding it for each of our nations together as one within the whole of the planet, the whole of humanity, that we are beaming that note of recognition for every single human being, which will then move what governance looks like and what our relationships look like. And Uta, thank you because I had, and also what um, Martha was saying, I had this similar vision uh, in which you had representatives, whether it was in the UN itself, or if it was almost like a subjective um, relationship and recognition of each other. But there was this circle of representative nations and then this group 
as well of all those of, of um, like purpose were a circle of light and vibration that brought things upward, you know, and the upward looking that almost like standing like guardian angels around each of the nation's representatives were standing in a circle standing behind them just as behind all the groups this group and every group with this intention has this great um heavenly orchestra standing behind us it was it was just a beautiful vision and as i said what seemed really important is that we are germinating in this effort the recognition, the thought form, the recognition, the embracing in the heart of every human being, the citizens of every nation, that we are one humanity. Thank you all. It's just wonderful to be able to participate in this work. Thanks a lot, Barbara. Germinating. Anyone else? This is John again from the United States. Um, one additional comment on the energy, the quality of the energy. I would say there's a, a great degree of potency and kind of what I saw in my mind is, whereas before in the previous container, it might have taken a, a whole cup or a larger container, this new energy seems to have such a degree of potency that one drop could exceed the um, previous cup. And not only that, but it has that quickening impact. So it seems as if there's going to be a um, acclimation required. In, a, in order to, to hold that energy over time. And so as we meet, it, it's more of just um, kind of what I'm seeing is like our energetic sheaths at the various um, various levels, you know, um, physical, emotional, mental, causal, etheric, and so on. There'll be a conditioning individually and as a group in order to acclimate, hold, and um, <clears throat> effectively transmit that energy. Thank you. Yeah, I very much agree, John. And I find it in in the in the last while really important to um, to be aware of continuity of consciousness, to be present on all these different levels as much as possible, um, uh, all together simultaneously, so the energy can really flow through because it is so strong. Thank you. This is uh, Judy from the United States. Uh, when we were in circle together, all of a sudden, I almost like came out of the meditation and I just said, this is not something we're enacting. And there was really a hierarchical presence that we were being utilized as a tool. And then back sitting in the circle, the one thing that I really felt was that there was an absolute trust of every member in that room. And there were no hidden agendas. Everybody was there to support each other uh, as a world citizen. It was um, 
quite poignant that that came to me that uh, there was nothing but trust. And I don't ever remember sitting in an environment quite like that. Yeah. Well, we are really building this template. I want to share one quote that I encountered it earlier today as I was preparing the slides. Of course, they found it was on my one all the slides. You might hear ask, what can we as a group accomplish? What is it that we can do? You can, for one thing, begin to work as an ashram works, hmm. using the power of thought, originating pressures, directing thought currents along specified lines out into the world, creating thought forms which will make clear-cut contact with other minds and which will bring about definite changes in the consciousness of humanity. There it is. Thank you, Alexander. <laughs> How perfect that we enacted, that we lived the truth of these words. Beautiful. Maybe Alexander, you can post it in the in the chat. This uh, this quote. Uh, yes. yes. It, yeah. And Jansis says, "Can we receive a copy of the meditation? I will send you one." Okay, now I would like to invite Jonathan to tell us about this new initiative of the Triangle of Nations Round Table, which is quite a strong, powerful um, expression of what we were, what we are just sharing here. Yeah, Jonathan. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yes. Hello, everyone. I just want to acknowledge the presence of being together in this purposeful and loving way and yes a few got together within the last uh, few weeks from the three nations russia britain and the united states to see if we could prototype a way of counsel and what would come from it and it was very much like this it was opening of the heart i'd also like to affirm really the telepathic ground of this work that we're doing we don't really have to try to be telepathic we just have to maintain the alignment and the overshadowing rarely seems to, to do the work for us. Um, so the groups from the three nations came together to really prototype and discern how to work together. A seed thought was composed very briefly, simply, in unity of purpose sharing our vision and the comment was made in looking out at the world the three nations 
are already changing, already working. Each nation in the triangle is shedding its old leadership and rearranging itself. Each nation will be in a very different place by the close of this second equinox cycle, let's say through to Aries, as we build upon this work together. In particular, for those who feel aligned to the uh, three nations, to any one or to the three, we welcome you joining us. We're proposing to meet at the new moons or between the new moon and the full moon on a monthly basis to really develop the three groups, to develop subjective group leadership as a way of counsel, as a way of counsel process, which quite simply, I would, I would offer three words, observation, alignment, and the distribution of the energies of the divine plan, of synthesis energy. So what is this function? I just like to share uh, briefly as I can. What is this function in Aquarius as we attempt to lift ourselves towards a council of world citizens as a discipleship function? A way of counsel as we discerned it in the sense of group subjective leadership begins by acknowledging that each one of us is capable of giving expression to the wisdom that will meet the needs of this time. As we've been working with the snapshots observation, we sense that our purpose is then to bring into our awareness the condition within which the people of our nations find themselves and to give a voice to that awareness and as to the people's practical and spiritual needs. We then align the condition as observed with the divine plan, invoking those higher energies of hierarchy, spiritual forces, to meet those needs as they have become aware to us. And thirdly, the way of counsel may really be a way of wisdom, applied wisdom, as if the plan is our responsibility now, at least as far as we in groups can identify and accept that level of responsibility on behalf of the people for invoking divine guidance. And as we step into a causality of group consciousness, A few questions were offered to prompt this line of thought, really. One, how have you seen a manifestation of the soul life of one of your nations, of one of the three nations? Two, what do you see as a next step to building cooperative partnering and subjective leadership for the nations? I feel that we sense this that we're filling up with this inspiration and energy. And three, how can we direct the energies of the divine plan into an intelligent expression? I'd love to share a few of the thoughts, really, the impressions that were composed at the end of that prototype meeting for the three nations. And I'll endeavor to keep it brief, if I can bring it up, yeah. A first seed synthesis of a group sharing, a council of the three nations. In the spirit of the way of beauty that understands a nation, not with knowledge, but with wisdom and the multidimensionality of language and culture where I have 
several nations, several homelands. We seek a new expression of leadership in our families, voiced from Britain. The maturing of our nation to wisdom and responsibility from the United States and a multipolar world born of a new ideation from Russia. The conditions of the people as we sensed and their needs. Our people, fearful, society breaking down. Yet they show solidarity and kindness. Refugees pouring into Britain, the world coming in, and yet we closed our borders. We need the freshness of something new, leadership from within the people. Shedding of skin, externals slipping away, migrants pouring into our cities in America, and yet inspiring new cultures, new awareness, liberty, bring me your storm-tossed yearning to breathe free. Physical hardships, but able to deal with it. From Russia. Don't go into hate, you will be okay. Mental creativity, vitality, truth, the soul of Russia is open to the world. Three nations, power, love, intelligence. A planetary security plan, harmless and non-provoking. Unity of purpose, share your vision. And that's all I would like to, to share. If others from that prototyping meeting recently would like to add, maybe it's an opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jonathan, for the report and uh, uh, for this whole initiative. Um, I have been present to for this meeting, um, and it is it is wondrous. Jonathan um, referred to the telepathic ground of this work, um, and uh, we can also our nation's lab team feel this also uh, quite palpably. How how the guidance. I don't know, the, the, the flow just comes through all of us and we are weaving this pattern. So now we have the nation's lab um, around the full moon and the, the, this initiative of uh, three nations, triangle, around the new moon. So here is, uh, we are coming into a rhythmic work. I see the, the work with the three nations like a specific, um, like this quote uh, of uh, what that Alexander shared. Yes, along specific lines. In the in the lab, we are experimenting with with some technology, so to speak, and then we implement these uh, these things, these methods in specific projects. And uh, there's also the project of the Middle Nations. I just want to mention them, this again, of uh, Denmark, Australia, and Canada. And they are meeting uh, at every equinox and, uh, and solstice. So they have another rhythm. I find this quite significant. Yes, thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jonathan, for sharing this. I just posted the questions that uh, you voiced there now in the chat. Oh, and I uh, posted the, the meditation outline in the chat. We will also have, uh, I'm very happy that uh, uh, Jonathan and Julia will help us put the material of the, of the Nations Lab finally um, on our Hechal website. So all these, um, all these texts will be available. And we also have, of course, the, the, video, the, um, the audio recordings on the 2025 initiatives website. Um, yeah, so we are getting more and more organized. <laughs> Thank you. And probably time-wise, we're already coming to the closing. Mm -hmm. I mentioned um, the coming uh, sessions of our Creative Lab. Um, I will post now the registration link for the next, uh, for this whole series of the uh, our meetings. Um, and In this, uh, I, I invite us to register to this uh, series right now. And I would like just to uh, guide us slightly through this process of how we could put our countries next to our name. Some of us did it this time for today's session, but it was uh, a, probably confusing for, uh, for some of us. So I'm showing, uh, can you see my screen now? Uta? Yes, yes, we can see the screen. Yes, so uh, what we suggest, the way how we register is just to put our first and last name in the uh, uh, this place for first name and our country to put uh, inst instead of last name. This way, in the attendee list, we will see right away uh, our names and uh, uh, the country. But also here is the, the country. So uh, I still invite us to put our own country because in case if, uh, for, for those of us who it would still be confusing, we could I could do manually later add in your country to your name when you register it. So um, the link for the next 10 sessions is on the chat now. So I invite you to click on the link now and register right away. Um, the way how you see it on the screen with the country instead of your last name. And the next meeting will be on October 11th. Much gratitude, and over to you, Uta, to close us. Yes. yes, much gratitude, much joy in this work together. Thank you, blessings, and looking forward to continue this weaving with all of us. Bye-bye. Yeah, beautiful.